Hello guys and welcome. So in this video, I wanted to answer the question, what is Dark Souls? This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Dark Souls, but I've always been curious. Hopefully it will serve as a good starter guide for you. So in this video in particular, I'm going to focus on the first Dark Souls game. So Dark Souls um, is an action RPG that was released in 2011. It was developed by From Software and published by Bandai Namco. It's the spiritual successor to Demon Souls. Um, Dark Souls takes place in a fictional kingdom of Lordran, where players assume the role of a cursed undead character who begins a pilgrimage to discover the fate of their kind. And then a port came out on PC in 2012. And since then, other editions have come out. Like on Steam, you can get the Prepare to Die edition, which is even harder. Now, the gameplay of this game is the key feature. Um, it really emphasized the idea that you as a player are not a walking god like you are in most games. Like in fact, in this game, you can hit a monster 50 times and it still not die, and it can hit you once and kill you. So the odds are stacked against you completely. So it's down to your timing, your skills to be able to survive. You have to do well-timed dodges, you have to be geared up and so on. And when you defeat monsters and enemies, they drop souls. You gather the souls. If you manage to take them to a save point known as a bonfire, then you're able to use them to level up, uh, level up your attributes and things like that. However, by visiting a bonfire, all the enemies respawn that you had got to to that point. So and what I found when playing through Dark Souls is that you might find that you're too weak to go to the next boss, for example. So you end up get killing all the trash mobs between one by one fire to the other, and then saving and then going back and then saving and then going back and so on um, to try and level up. Now, since then, the game's been out for ages. There is a lot of speedrunners of the game who can do the entire game um, in one sitting in an hour. But... I really, really, really struggled with Dark Souls. I, I, I quit the game probably quite a few times, I'll be honest. And even until this day, after so many times trying and so many hours put in, I still haven't finished it. <laughs> so, um, like, I've had a really, really hard time with a game like this. So, and the the game itself, like, the gameplay is fun in terms of the controls are fluid, like the reactions is down to you reacting quickly and so on. So From Software have established themselves for making this style of game. That's why since then they had Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. I made a video about what is Sekiro and things like that. And the next game that From Software is working on is called Elden Ring, which is what a lot of people are very excited to see. So um, now with a game like this as well, the story is like you're sort of thrown into the world. So there isn't like a narrated storyline or anything like that, like you see in a lot of other RPGs, but there is a world to discover there. And you see, you might hear the phrase praise the sun. Uh, that comes from Dark Souls. So uh, what we're now going to do is we're going to visit the official website of Dark Souls, see what's on there. And um, what I'm going to do as well as part of this What Is series I'm going to link as many useful resources in the description down below, including the links to the official website, to the Wikipedia, maybe to the last time I played the game, to some of my favorite speedrunners of the game as well, um, who really can decimate this game. Um, and yeah, and in the future, I might cover Dark Souls 3. Now, Dark Souls 2 was actually not well received, so I'm not going to bother making one about that, but I probably will about Dark Souls 3. So now let's visit the official website. Okay, so this is the official website on the um, Bandai Namco page. So one sec. And like I said, link in the description. The so Dark Souls came out 2011. So Dark Souls is the action role playing game from the developers who brought you Demon Souls uh, from software. Dark Souls will have many familiar features. A dark fantasy universe tense dungeon crawling, fearsome enemy encounters, and unique online interactions. Oh yeah, speaking of online interactions, you are actually able to either get help from people help you through the game, or to outright be invaded, and people can invade other players 
to just ruin their day. <laughs> so the game already does a good job of that. And then you could just randomly be invaded as well. So um, Dark Souls is a, a spiritual successor to Demons, not a sequel. So that they're making that explicitly clear. So prepare for a new despair-inducing world with a vast, fully explorable horizon and vertically oriented landforms. Prepare for a new mysterious story centered around the world of Lordran. Uh, but most of all, prepare to die. <laughs> you will face countless murderous traps, countless darkly grotesque mobs, and several gargantuan, supremely powerful demons and dragon bosses. You must learn from death to persist through this unforgiving world, and you aren't alone. Dark Souls allows the spirits of other players to show up in your world, so you can learn from their deaths, and they can learn from yours. You can also summon players into your world to co-op um, adventure, or invade other worlds to PvP battle. New to Dark Souls are bonfires, which serve as checkpoints as you fight your way through this epic adventure. While rested at bonfires, your health and magic replenish, but at a cost, all mobs respawn. Beware, there is no place in Dark Souls that is truly safe. With days of games, uh, gameplay and an even more punishing difficulty level, Dark Souls will be the most deeply challenging gameplay uh, you, th you play this year. Obviously, this is back in 2011, but I think, to, to be honest, to this day, this is still one of the hardest games ever. And you live through a million deaths and earn your legacy. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like I said, guys, I really, really had a hard time with Dark Souls. I really did. It really is tough for someone like me. I mean, the more you play it, the more you'll learn your way through the fights. You'll eventually learn the tactics. You'll be able to uh, fight your way through it. You'll not learn when to dodge. You'll learn what... You'll have a million reasons to avoid dying because every single way will kill you. <laughs> but um, if you can get through it and not break your controller or whatever, or rage quit the game, then it is a fun game with a very fun ex experience overall. And yeah, and it is infamous for that reason because of how tough this game is. And... There is also other features as well. There's like a stagger system and so on, which affects how much you might get stunned by enemies hitting you, and you can combat your way against that. But that's something to discover while you play the game. But generally, um, it's probably better to just learn how to dodge and avoid being hit completely. Um, because then some people have made, especially in the speedrunners, have made kind of like co cookie cutter slash glass cannon builds where simply they do so much damage, but they get hit once they die. So, but they've learned to get through the game without even being hit once. So it is quite interesting to see. It really is um, when you see the people who are able to do that. But like I said, guys, let me know in those comments down below. Have you played Dark Souls? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Um, do you like the sort of brutal gameplay? Um, did you play Bloodborne? Did you play Sekiro? All these other games that came after it. Are you looking forward to Elden Ring? I will link to my what is to Elden Ring as well. So yeah, so we'll keep it at that for the day. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there, or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.